As an example, I'm going to select the first article. When I click on the link, it will take me to the full article for reading. You'll notice up at the top is the full title, the author, date of publication, the source, the publisher, the document type, and the words. Also at the top, right below all of that information, are several tools. Here you have a translate button where you can translate this text into different languages. You can decrease the font size, you can increase the font size, and you can also listen to the article being read out loud by the database. We also have some tools here on how to save the article. You can link to your Google Drive and download this article to your Google Drive. Same with Microsoft OneDrive. You can also email this article to yourself, or you can download it to your computer, or you can print it. Now you'll notice here is the entire article. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you will get a works cited page here. So these are all of the uh, citations that were used within this essay. And at the very bottom is the source citation. So this is the tool that I would use to cite this article. I'll come back to that in a second. If I go back up to the top and I want to save this article, if you are a Google Drive user, I highly recommend using Google Drive because it will save the document as a Google Doc into your Google Drive. If not, you can email this article to yourself by clicking the, clicking the envelope. You would type in your email address. This can be any email address you prefer. And you can actually use more than one email address if you'd like. The from would be from yourself. The subject line is going to be the title of the article which is already included for you. And the message is anything that you would like to include for yourself. And then you have three options. You can send it as the full text, as the PDF article, or you can send as a citation. I would recommend full text or PDF and then click send and it will appear in your email inbox. Now going back to the citation, if you want the citation for the article, here at the bottom, you can select all. You can also click the button select. You can copy and paste this into a Word document or a Google document to create your works cited page. Or you can also download it on its own page to your Google Drive or your OneDrive account. We don't offer access to Noodle Tools, EasyBib, or RefWorks. So don't worry about using those unless you pay for these services on your own. And you'll notice that with the citation, there are four different styles that you can choose from. The default is MLA 8th edition, but you can also select APA 7th, Chicago 17th, or Harvard style. So whichever citation style you need, you can use.